GGC family, our devotion for this week is Hope in the Lord and Stay Faithful to Him by Pastor Robinson Law. It's been over one and a half years since the COVID-19 pandemic started. In one of my conversations with our young people, I was asked, is the coronavirus a punishment from God for sins? Another question was, if COVID-19 is God's punishment for sins, whose sin was it? And what sin was committed that the whole world should be affected for such a long time? In the Old Testament, when the Israelites sinned, all of Israel felt the consequence of God's punishment, even those who were faithful to God all the way. The fall of the northern kingdom to the Assyrians and the fall of the southern kingdom to the Babylonians were the consequences of the sins of Israel and Judah. This affected the entire Jewish nation, even those who faithfully trusted in God. Among those affected who remained faithful to God was Daniel and his three friends. In spite of being exiled to Babylon, Daniel and his friends remained faithful to God. They trusted him as they lived productive lives, continuing to do what they can where they are. Many Old Testament prophets were also faithful until the end. Through the New Testament, we also see the sins of the Jews affect their nation. Many of Christ's disciples and followers were persecuted and scattered. They, however, remained faithful to God, continued to spread the gospel, and lived as good citizens wherever they are in. Although we are all affected by the pandemic in one way or another, there is one thing we can do. We can respond to this situation with faith and hope in God, knowing that He is Lord of all and that He is still in control of everything. We may be frustrated and discouraged with what is happening around us, but instead of living for ourselves, we can choose to be grateful and faithful to God, to live productive lives as good testimonies, and to trust Him as we obey. In Matthew 5 verse 45, Jesus said, For He makes His sun rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. We see that God allows good things to happen to bad people, and sometimes we see bad things happen to good people. I have known good, godly, faithful people get infected with COVID-19 and die, and even some who lost their loved ones to the virus. In Job 2 verse 9, after Job lost all his livestock, most of his servants, all his children, and after being afflicted with boils in his entire body, we see his wife telling him, You are still as faithful as ever, aren't you? Why don't you curse God and die? But Job responded in verse 10, When God sends us something good, we welcome it. How can we complain when he sends us trouble? Even in all his suffering, Job did not sin, nor charge God with wrongdoing. How are you coping in your situation? Whether your problems or worries are related to the virus, or you have concerns that are causing you to be anxious. Whether you have hardships or difficulties, remember, God is Lord of all, and that He is in control. Commit your situation and concerns to the Lord. Let His peace and joy reign in your heart. Hope in the Lord and cling on to His steadfast love. Live a good testimony and be faithful to Him. The Lord is here to journey with you. Trust in Him and live for Him. Let Psalm 33 verses 18 to 22 be an encouragement to you. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him, on those who hope in His steadfast love, that He may deliver their soul from death and keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart is glad in Him, because we trust in His holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you.